Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a portable install in Reaper. Now, I'm doing this on Mac, but this will work the same way on PC, except for the first part. One of the benefits of using Reaper on PC is that when you install it, you have this option right here, portable install. If you check this checkbox during installation, it'll create a portable install for you. On Mac, we have to create it manually, which I'll show you how in a bit. Now, you're probably wondering, why would I want to use a portable install? There are quite a few different reasons. For one, it's a great way of taking Reaper with you. Like on a USB flash drive, we can install Reaper on that drive and keep all of our preferences, configurations, presets, effects chains, keyboard shortcuts, and anything else we customize in Reaper right on that drive. So we can take that drive with us to any studio and everything comes with it. No need to even install Reaper on that studio's computer. We could run it right off that flash drive. We could also put that portable install on a Dropbox or a similar cloud server. So any changes you make to Reaper will show up on any of your computers, constantly being updated anytime you make a change on any of them. Another reason is if you want to update Reaper to a newer version or even a beta version, and you don't want to worry about it being stable enough for production. Or if you just want to try out the new features while still having the option of going back to the previous version, you could do that as well. Just keep multiple portable installs and run them separately. Another reason is for troubleshooting. If you want to install a bunch of custom scripts or third-party themes and Reaper isn't working the way you expect, you could always install a portable install first to make sure Reaper is working correctly before you commit to using these themes or scripts. So you could always revert back to what you had. And finally, my favorite purpose for portable installs is to keep multiple customized versions of Reaper based on what you're working on. For instance, you might have one install just for recording audio, another for mixing, another for MIDI, and still another just for video, with everything set up just for working with that type of media. And because Reaper's size is so small, we could afford to use a different install for every type of project we're working on, or even just use a different portable install for every project we work on. Again, it's small enough to work like that, and you could put each install in each one of your project folders. So let me show you how to set this up. We're going to do a clean install on Mac, but make it a portable install. Again, this is only for Mac users, as Windows users can use that checkbox when you install. Let's go to the Reaper website. We'll go to Download Reaper and choose the version we want to install. Download it to our Downloads folder and then open that folder. And here's the installer. Double click it. It opens up this installer. Now, normally, we would drag this into our Applications folder. But we're not going to do that for this. Instead, we're going to open Reaper from here. Just double click it and it'll start to open Reaper and scan for your plugins. We could skip this for now, and it creates a fresh install of Reaper. Let's open the actions list by typing the question mark, which opens the actions list. Let's go to our filter and type resource. And this action shows up, which will take us to where Reaper files and settings are stored. Double click it, and here are all the files that are part of a Reaper install. And to see where this folder is stored, hold down Command while we click up here, and we can see it's within our Application Support folder. Right down here, now we can put this folder wherever we want, on a USB hard drive, on a Dropbox, or anywhere on our computer. But let's put it in our Applications folder. We could just drag it and drop it, open the Applications folder, and now that folder is in here. Let's open it. Now everything is in here except for the application, which you can now just drag from over here. But let's first quit Reaper. Now we can drag and drop the application into the folder. Now the Reaper application is in the Reaper portable install folder. Right here. Again, we could put this folder wherever we want, as it's completely self-contained. 
And we can also duplicate it to create as many portable installs as we want and just give them unique names so you know which one does what. So that's a clean install. But what if we want to create a portable install from the install you're already using? So this is a non portable install where the application is in the application folder. Let's open it up. And here's our current non portable install with all the settings we like. Once again, we'll open up our actions with the question mark and type resource into the filter and choose that same action again, which again opens up that folder with all our Reaper settings, our current ones, or the ones we like. Again, we'll go back to the enclosing folder by holding down Command. Then we'll move this folder where we want to put our portable install. Let's put it in the Applications folder and drop it. And now we can put the app in that folder. Open it up. And now this is a portable install with all the settings we had. So we could open it up and it's exactly the same, except now it's portable. So again, we can move it where we want or duplicate it to create as many different versions as we want. And again, we could rename them based on what we use them for. So that's pretty much it. That's how you create a portable install in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.